Hello everybody, my name's Alf Neffel and welcome back to White Path. So, okay, I don't know what's about to happen here. What? Path is covered in torn pages and dark red stains. I don't wanna, but I'm going to. These pages, they look like pages from the diary I wrote with Evelyn. I will go see where they lead. Follow the blood. Evelyn, where have you been? I have been looking everywhere for you. I don't trust this. Evelyn, what's wrong? Don't. Don't follow me anymore. Leave me alone. Leave me. I'm sorry. I said sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Evelyn, leave me alone! Swiftly, Evelyn pulled a pair of sharp gardening scissors from beneath her winter cloak. I'm sick, so sick of this. I'm sorry, I want, want to find you. I don't want to be here by myself anymore. Jim hands, Evelyn brought the scissors closer to her chest as she sobbed heavily. Take the scissors? What? Oh, what? I didn't even get a chance. It happened too quickly before my eyes. As I approached her with her own two hands, Evelyn pushed the scissors into her own throat. My hands went through her when I tried to hold her up. She was cold. Why, Evelyn? Why were you scared? Bad ending to Crimson Path. What? Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. That don't fly with me. Hey, how do I get out of this? Okay, uh, as. Okay, so I got one of the bad endings. I'm wondering if another bad end would involve me taking the main road, because that would not take me anywhere near Evelyn. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try that. Then I'm gonna try. And. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna see what happens if I watch Evelyn. I don't know. Be right back when this thing gets done. Okay, everybody, I am back. So, like I said, first we're gonna go down the regular main road. Evelyn, I'm not sure what happened to our diary. All the pages are torn and stained. I guess we'll just write a new one. For now, I should return home. Annalie. I'm glad. So glad you weren't led astray. You see, in darkness, it's so easy to lose your way. Come, let's go. There's nothing left to do now. But I can at least continue to watch over you. Grandmother. Grandmother died a long while ago. I occasionally see her wandering about our house. Her presence would soothe, would soothe me. This time, though, this time the feeling of terror would not leave me. This time I understood what she meant by the sorrow in her heart. I understood what she meant by darkness. And, and I understood what she meant by tragedy. 
What happened? It's cold. So, so cold. The pain in my legs and arms. The sharp sting of the frostbite. Even the sound of my own teeth chattering. They never stopped. They never left me. I kept walking in the same place. Waking up in the same place, surrounded by snow so close to my home. And yet so far. This place really was hollow, yet filled with terrifying things. It had no beginning and no end. Bad ending one, forever in the frozen darkness. So it just repeats itself? Okay, so I was right, that was the first bad end. Okay, all that's left to do now is just wait for credits to end again so I can do everything else. Okay, we're back again. This time I'm going to go down to the bloody path and just watch. Because it said... It said that her hands went through Evelyn when she tried to hold her up. So she probably a ghost and she, that was probably just just that was just probably her relive Evelyn reliving her death. There probably wasn't anything Annalie can do about it anyway. So let's see. Evelyn where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Evelyn, what's wrong? Don't. Don't follow me anymore. Leave me alone. Leave me. I'm sorry. I said sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Evelyn, leave me alone. Evelyn, swiftly, Evelyn, put his current cloak. I'm sick, so sick of this. <laughs> Annalie. Annalie. Evelyn, I'm here. Please come down. Okay, so that's not what happened. Evelyn! Grandmother. Annalie, my dearest Annalie. Come this far. I wish I could help you. There's nothing you do about your dear friend anymore. It's best if you let her be, dearest. I don't understand what happened to your grandmother. Where is everyone? What happened to Evelyn? It pains me to think of it. Nothing will truly ever soothe this kind of suffering. Your friend, she... She can't really reach you anymore. Neither can you reach her. I don't believe you. Has she gone mad? Was she the one who left all those crumpled notes behind? Dear Anley, something much darker and sinister than madness has had come between you. It's best if you leave her be, and I could let you see for yourself what it is that brings me pain. Keep searching for Evelyn. Grandmother, thank you for always looking after me, for always being so kind. But I've gone all this way just to find Evelyn. I will not give up on her, even if she'd gone insane. Annalie. My dearest Annalie, you still have a heart of gold. I wish you good luck, and I will always look after you, in life and in death. <sighs> okay, so... Oh! It's open now. I'm dead. What? Why did the game pause? Why did the game do that? Evelyn. The 
Casket feels very cold. Anley, come and see how beautiful the path looks from this window. I'm sure it does, Evelyn. This is odd. I feel as if I've heard this before. I feel as if I've seen these things. Are these my memories? Or are they yours? One day, one day we'll go explore what's beyond that path, right? Definitely. We can go tomorrow if you'd like. But won't your parents scold us? It's fine, Evelyn. We won't wander too far. Not in such a, such a cold weather. But promise you won't stray too far from me. I promise. And so, we decided to explore together as promised. Everything will beautiful from up close as it did from afar but we never knew we never knew the road back would seem so long so terribly cold Annalee Annalee it's so cold I know Evelyn but please let's try to keep walking we can't stop now I never knew it could get so cold and so dark in such a short time. No matter where we turned, all we stumbled upon were more trees, paths leading to dead ends, and snow. So much snow. Evelyn! Evelyn, where are you? Evelyn! Somehow, in the dark, we got separated. One moment I was holding her hand tightly, and the next I couldn't even see her anymore. I couldn't feel my feet and hands anymore. I was frozen completely, but I didn't want to stop. Evelyn, I brought her out here. How could I leave her by herself? I got lost. The forest grew darker and colder. I began to scream for help as far as my hoarse voice could manage. But no one could hear me all the way out there. No one. I was all alone. I was lost and all alone. It was so, so cold. And yet, I kept walking aimlessly until I collapsed. It happened so quickly, though. Far in the distance, I could see the lights from my home, but I couldn't get up. I recognize this place. It's the front yard of my home. Yet, why do I feel so disoriented? It's cold. So, so cold. A young girl appears to be sleeping in the casket. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I couldn't speak. Annalee, I'm sorry. I managed to find my way back home first, but... I was terrified. The maids yelled at me. The nanny was furious. She said she would call my father and tell him I'd ran away. I got scared, so I lied. I told them that you were home for certain. That I went out by myself. So. So no one went looking for you. I wanted to go look for you, but I couldn't leave the house. I was praying to whatever gods could hear me that you'd return safely. In the morning, they found you completely frozen in the front garden. You were so close. I was so close to saving you. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. Apologizing won't do at this point. I searched for you until it drove me mad. I kept searching even after they found you. No, 
no, no. No, Annalie, no. They didn't find you. There was definitely someone else, not you. No, stop. Please stop. I said I was sorry. Please stop following me. Stop haunting me. Annalie, I miss you so, so much. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I couldn't move. I could hear Evelyn running up and down the corridors calling my name even though I was here. But I remained behind, beside the casket, observing the corpse in silent terror. Was this a dream? No. It was real. The girl in the coffin wasn't sleeping. I was looking at my own face, pale and bruised. I was dead. I've been dead all along. Eventually, Evelyn's screams died down. I couldn't hear her anymore. I couldn't see her. No one came back home. And yet the snow never stopped falling. The cold never left me. The sharp sting of the frostbite, the pain in my legs and arms. Even the sound of my own teeth chattering. They never left me. And neither did the fear. Someone, please, help me. It's cold. So, so cold. True ending. The White Path. Wow, that was deep. Oh, that was really deep. Okay, I'm not going to cut this out here. I am going to go through it again. And I'm going to see the normal... See, I'm going to see what happens if I uh, go with the grandmother instead of going to find Evelyn. So I'll, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'll be back when I get to the grandmother again. Okay, so Evelyn just uh, ran away, and I'm just, I didn't realize this at first, but this is where I actually woke up at the beginning of the game. I don't know why they didn't dawn on me until just now. See me, wish could help. Never friend anymore. Come on, come on, come on. I know this part. I know this part. Yeah, 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 I know this part. Go with Grandmother. Grandmother, there are many things I've yet to understand, but I do need your support. It's been unusually cold. Grandmother took me to a casket in which a girl was sleeping. As I observed the corpse in silence, terror began to cloud my judgment. Her presence could not soothe me any longer. The girl in the casket was me. I was dead. I have been dead all along. But I never knew how. I never knew why. Normal ending, asleep. Okay, so that was the normal ending. So either one of those endings is finding out that I was dead all... That Anna Lee was dead all along. But the true ending showed how. Wow. Okay, this was actually a good game. Now that the game's actually done, I've completely finished it. I can talk about it now. It was a good game, although at first I did... I admit I got very frustrated with it because I couldn't figure out that I had to go outside and grab a frozen flower. I did not understand that. So, heck, I was 
I'm ready to get on to the creator of this for uh, a couple of the puzzles, but looking back, it's not that the puzzles were too complex. I just wasn't the very sm I wasn't exactly the smartest person. Puzzles are supposed to have cha some challenge to them anyway, so this was a good game. It, it, although I'd hate to see the creator's idea of being horror heavy because the re the readme in the filings for this game says uh, that it's that it's light on horror but that it wasn't there were some, some pretty creepy spots there, there wasn't very many parts that I just really had adrenaline going except for the part in the forest oh my god that was some slender crap that I did not sign up for but anyway this has been the white path you can download it on game jolt in fact I'm going to put a link here link to it here in the description below though I'll probably have already put one in the first video anyway but anyway there will I'm gonna put a link in all of the parts to this so anyway so that way you can go get this yourself but anyway this is a great game feel free to play for yourself but anyway this has been uh, I, I know I have a very bad habit of repeating myself but this has been the white path but thank you guys so much for watching and as always I will see you in the next episode Later.